Right, in this video I'm going to show you how you make Bombay potato. Now obviously we already um, boiled the potatoes but we had a, for another dish, we made another dish. There's a potato here already. You, know, you can check out the video, I'll put a link to it. The other video where we made garlic uh, garlic potatoes. We're using the same potato here. All we need is to chop a onion. Great. Now, this is natural. The way I put my tripod, just flipped over. Now, by the way, I'm using a, a professional tripod, by the way. You'd be thinking, if it's professional, why did you flip over? It's a Joby Gorilla tripod, 20 inch tall. Check out my link so you can get them through Amazon. Or eBay, both have it. It's called Gorilla Tripod, okay? It's about 20 inch tall. Uh, a professional tripod. Uh, Sometimes, even the professional ones becomes unprofessional. So it's always nice. It shows our human side of things, okay? Not makeup. So whenever you do something, is reality not making it up as it happens this sort of thing is good so chop them up chop all the onions up nicely there we are all done let's see if we can get some coriander from somewhere Just went in the garden and picked some coriander leaves out. It's not much, but there we are. That will do my job. Let's put them here. I will chop them up. Let's just this go. Wash them up properly. Let's wash them properly. Now, a bit of soil on it. Let's chop the coriander. Add a taste, okay? Seems let's get rid of this. That will do. Now I'm gonna go over to the garden and go and pick up a couple of chilies and I'll show you. So I'm gonna walk out, but let's go straight into the chili and pick up a few chilies. Now, these are deadly. These chilies are absolutely ever so tiny. Can you see them? It's ever so tiny chilies. But they're deadly. Heat wise, they're so, so hot. You can't even imagine. It's incredibly hot. They're so tiny chilies. Really, really tiny. It's just a tiny stuff, but oh, there we are. Can you see them? There, there they are. Ever so, I think they just grow this size, not more than a couple of centimeters. Not so even a centimeter. Yeah, that, they're so tiny. Heat-wise, oh, you don't want to put too much in your curry. They'll blow you away, really. They will really, really. Right. So, let's go inside. All right, there. There we are. Put them on the side here. There we are. Look how tiny it is. It's really, really tiny. Right, 
Right, so we have our all the ingredients is ready for our Bombay potato. Now we're going to do it. Let's do it. Frying pan's ready. Now I'll show you another videos. Make sure you don't wear, never use a wire. Don't ever use this type of wire cleaning your frying pan. If you do, this is what will happen. You'll scratch your non-stick frying pan. Use a damp cloth or something like, you know, the green. Use a green sponge. Green, yeah. Use this stuff to clean your frying pan. Not, not the, uh, not the wire. Okay, okay, so let's go. Now we're going to add some ghee. A tablespoon of ghee. Right. Okay, here we go. Give it a couple of minutes. Okay, let the ghee heat up. Okay, so we have the garlic here. Right. Wait a minute, let's put the garlic in. Salt. Okay. Couple of seconds. The uh, onions. Best to put your spice early because that way you burn your spice. If you don't burn your spice, they tend to get smell, spicy smell. Okay, so I'm putting one and a half teaspoon of mixed curry powder. One and a half teaspoon of mixed curry powder. Half teaspoon of Haldi powder. Now since I'm going to put green chili, I will avoid the chili and that's it. That's my spice. Mix curry powder and Haldi powder. them up, mix it Seconds. Hold a minute. I'm going to instead of cutting the chilies because they're so deadly, I'll just put them put them whole chilies. So I'm just only putting a few in there like that. And if you have a lid, just put the lid on for a couple of minutes. So that way you see where the onions cooks better.
You need to make sure the raw spice cook properly. That's why most people make mistakes. You do need to cook properly so it does not retain the rawness of your spice. Right, I think that's about it. So, what we're going to do, we are going to take potato in. I'm not doing too many of those, so just going to there we are. And mix them together now. And obviously in the restaurant what they will do, they will put some base gravy. The restaurant chef will tend to put some base gravy. But we don't have any base gravy here, so we'll have to go without it. Put the other lot in. Let's put the other lot in. What's the point keeping here? Let's put the other lot in. And mix it together now. You gotta make sure you mix it together. Mix them all well in. Potato is already boiled, so you do not need to boil it again. Don't need to cook too much. Just turn them over slowly. Right. Right. So we finished our dish. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna put a bit of fresh coriander. Top it up with coriander here. Make sure I forgot to put the coriander, but you can still do it. It looks. Fabulous. There we go. Makes all the difference, just dropping a bit of coriander on top. <laughs> 